So I got new internet and uh, hopefully it's faster noticeable. I was having some problems with some of the other stuff I've played. Um, this game has only been out for about a week and a half, I think. Uh, I've already got 40 hours. 40 hours in this game, and it's only been out for about a week, so I've pretty much treated this game like a full-time job. And uh, for anybody who hasn't played this game, uh, I'm not going to... I don't know if I need to do the tutorial. I mean, it, it's... You can do the tutorial, but I think I could do a better job of explaining some of the stuff than they do than in that. But uh, at the end of the tutorial, you get attacked, and uh, you could pretty much not avoid it. Uh, they probably will kill you um, if you do the tutorial. It kills you. They will wipe you out. If you don't do the tutorial, they will kill you and wipe you out. And it's just in the very beginning. There's like, uh, it's almost like maybe uh, like a dynamic that is going to be in the game a little bit later because it's not very strongly implemented right now. Like, you don't get rated a whole lot. I've only been rated the initial one, the very first one, and then like I got one later, way later hours into it. Um, let me go ahead and create a game. Uh, we'll say, we'll say free. So this game is very new so it has a lot of bugs in it and I just want to kind of uh, give, give new players kind of an idea of uh, what you're going to run into. Uh, they're not like there. There are some bugs that are could be game breakers. Like it could ruin like your whole playthrough at that time. But most of them you can avoid or work around. Pretty much the first couple of days of playing this, I was finding bugs every hour. The game is full of them. So when you start off, you're in the very center of the map, and uh, pretty much the traffic in this game, your vehicles will stop at every red light and go whenever they turn green. They do a really good job of that. Um, camera in the game ain't too bad. The cars do kind of, they don't uh, clip right, you know, they kind of stack up on top of each other sometimes um, the cops I have seen them with their lights on and stuff I've I'm assuming that they're gonna implement where like if a cops driving by and you are unloading drugs out of the trunk of your car maybe the cop will notice and maybe arrest and confiscate everything you have at that time I think that would be kind of a cool thing that they would do is to have them confiscate your drugs if they, they catch you at that moment. Of course, it would suck because... Uh, oh, shit. The thing up there is going to be in my way. So, let me get started. When you first start, you're going to have to uh, go up here to sail. And this will be pretty much where you start. You can pick it. Your first two plots are going to be free. Um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy this little road plot right here because uh, I don't like I don't like building out here or anything because I want to be able to take where this road is and I want to keep the roads as much as I can and build around it. And then you put your garages all the way along the edges of the road. And then when they come out, they'll flow with traffic in the directions that they go. So I'll go ahead and buy this spot right here. Keep the little road plot there. 
and then I'll buy this one right here next to it. Okay. So after you do that, what I would do, since you already know you're going to be rated when you first start, only have like one employee. You only really need one at the very beginning. But uh, go ahead and you're going to build a garage. Put that down. So just need one. Just the basics to get started because uh, when they raid you, they're going to kill everybody you have. So if you if you have this if you got this thing full of employees, you're going to have to hire new employees, which takes money. So to make it simple and cheap, uh, click this to pretty much build your rooms. Um, if you play games like this, it's self-explanatory. You know, you know, like you're familiar with how uh, building works. I don't need to explain any of that. You're going to need a grow room and a store room. So, if you put down your storeroom, just have a place to box your drugs up and a place to stack your drugs. I'll just do two. Put a door, put these double doors out here because whenever they package the drugs, they're going to take them right out this door and put them in this uh, little scooter right here. Um, so, hang on, I just minimize my screen here. Um, so whenever you go to make your drugs, just start off with uh, one of these little grow uh, uh, planters and then this is a drying table and this is your cutting table so when you hire somebody they're going to grow the plants dry them out here and then cut them up and then package them over here Put them on the shelf, and you can em you'll employ people that'll do this whole thing, uh, and you can, for the time being, you can have like one guy. His main job is just loading things onto the vehicles, onto the car, onto the scooter. Um, you don't really need to worry about that whenever you don't have that many people, but um, while you. Uh, a good habit that I get into is I click the little uh, drying table and I make it so it's specifically for just one product. So that way when you grow and you're expanding, you only have these things specifically for those. You could do it with pretty much everything. Um, right now in the game, the only thing you're going to make is you're going to make basic weed, toasted weed, and uh, Amazonian weed, and cloudy meth. And then it gets into, you know, you can get into the clear meth, moon meth, and crack cocaine. You'll have uh, whatever the hell that is. It's translation's not found. I, I don't know. Flaming cocaine. And then uh, whatever this is going to be not too familiar with what those are because for now really all you got is just the basic weed is what you're going to start off at come back up here grab your uh, your door put your door leading into this area now there's uh there are some issues I've noticed where uh, you have the little blue area in front of all these objects that's where like your people are going to interact with the objects. Um, there are some issues in the uh, businesses that you'll have, like the donut shop. 
where even though the blue area is open and everybody can get to it, it should be fine. Uh, there's uh, issues with paths and your guys will just make donuts and then throw them on the floor and contaminate them and then they'll pick them up and drop them and pick them up and drop them because they're not finding the path to the place where they uh, store the donuts. Everything else, uh, I haven't had a whole lot of issues with those things. Um, right now, you're going to want to hire an employee. Just take one. And then if you come up here to the uh, education program, this is kind of like the tutorial. This, the tutorial is right here. And when you do them, you will get these rewards. Like this is not a spoon. It's a knife. And then this is great for cracking open skulls. It's a crowbar. And then you'll get uh, drinks, which uh, slows energy and hunger reduction speeds of bladder reduction. That's useful. I'll, I'll usually will put that on um, for the time being. That's probably like the best thing to have on your um, like your engineers that are going around fixing everything because there's not really a hat that makes them fix things a lot fun uh, better. Uh, they got headphones that'll make them uh, slows their fun reduction. Um, and then you got weapon accuracy. And this one is you will click them and start this part of the tutorial. But yeah, even though you say you are not gonna do the tutorial, you could literally do the tutorial every time you create the map, a, a new save. Um, as you can see, like down here, this is place a bear trap. Okay, well, all you gotta do to pretty much unlock the knife is just come down here and grab your traps and just put down a bear trap. Doesn't really matter where, we're just trying to unlock it right here. You might need to let it play for just a second. Close this, open it back up, there it is. We'll just do that, there you go. And now, we've done that. Go ahead and sell the bear trap because the problem with the bear trap right now is it's pointless to have the bear traps with the way the game is because your own people step on the bear traps and then they trigger them and it, it, it pretty much hurts you guys more than it does the people coming in to, to raid you and stuff like that. Uh, putting traps down is pointless at this stage of the game because your own guys will set them off and that shouldn't happen. Uh, that's something that I think that they will fix. Um, another part of the tutorial here that we could do is uh, unlock toasted cannabis. We'll do that in a minute. Um, configuring products accepted at an appliance. Configure the Mach 1 cannabis dryer to only accept toasted cannabis. So to do that, you just come over here to the dryer. Oop. What is that? Come over here and tell it to only accept toasted cannabis. This one right here. And then you've unlocked the energy drinks helmet. And grab that. Be sure to put it back at wherever you wanted it. We just wanted to unlock it. Um, creating a room group. Okay. Um, as soon as you click on it, it's going to start walking you through it. Um, pretty much create a room group. He's going to say, uh, pretty much, oops, close that. He's going to say, uh, click this button right here. It's going to do plots, employees, and then rooms. And then you're just going to create a room group, new room group. Usually what I do is I say, uh, basic and then uh, confirm. Now, it's gonna want you to, uh, I'll go ahead and close it so that way, just for the sake of the video and tutorial, uh, modify the room group. It tells you to come back in here. You can modify it, go back to it, click it. This button right here modifies it. The rooms are red. 
and uh, pretty much what you're saying is uh, anytime I assign this employee, uh, Ariana Rise, uh, to a room, a, a room group, um, you're going to be able to say, okay, I want to make it so that the basic weed group is going to use pretty much my basic weed grow room and the place where it's going to be packaged because by default uh, let's see, confirm, um, you're going to have always keep these open except for the, you can keep your rooms open but um, the employee is going to you select that you want them to do basic weed toasted weed the Amazonian weed the meth and then over here this icon right here that is loading the products onto the vehicles to be transported um, you're going to want that so that way that they can load the little scooter that you have over here and then you're going to collect you're going to select uh, pretty much the basic weed and then you can assign the room group to be basic so this employee is just going to flat out always be working in just the basic areas if you build toasted weed grow room right here then the employee working in the basic weed grow room will not work in the other room unless unless you open this up right here if you build it right up against it it automatically tears down the wall you can't like actually have like two grow rooms right next to each other which I think is kind of silly I think they should be able to make it so that you can put the wall in there and uh, I think you can unlock a wall but I don't think it's a normal wall I, I can show you here in a minute but only need one employee because they're all going to get killed pretty much from the start so from here I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go ahead and unlock this uh, headphones that I have so now we've unlocked those three and then this one is uh, setting up a small business I don't do that until I've been doing some other stuff for a little bit first thing you're going to want to do is let your employee start working make sure she's just going to come in here she's going to do her thing and uh, if you want to you could actually uh, put equipment on your employees right now like at the start you get these 50% cooldown time on cannabis plants um, that helps out a lot but you don't really have anything good for like a new employee that you can really put on them um, this one is for food appliance I put those on the people that work at the donut shop or the fast food place because it makes them faster uh, at running the job and the rest is just a chicken costume does nothing Santa costume does nothing I haven't seen those do anything um, and then of course the helmets that we've unlocked is the slow fun reduction and bladder and all that stuff you get the Santa hat chicken hat and the chef's hat so with the outfit and the hat you're doing a 50% speed bonus to your appliance speed um, let's see here so once he's done growing this plant he's gonna put it over here to dry and then after it's done drying he's gonna cut it and then he's gonna package it now when you when you start off you can see right here it says uh, basic cannabis is one out of three stars and your conditions are a level four light source well a level four light source you can come up here and see what your what your lighting is like you don't have any lighting so if you come in here and you build it's underneath uh, AOE emitters uh, area of effect emitters 
Uh, you've got humidifier, a light, dehumidifier, uh, air conditioning, a heater, and a uh, small detoxifier. If you select the light and you put it right here, you see that uh, it's got four light bulbs because at its base it produces four and right next to it, the area of effect is like for each square you drop one. So being right here it's going to be three which is going to make should have made like should make a level two But um, anyway, uh, the lights are the only thing that's required of the basic cannabis. When you get into the uh, toasted, you'll have to have less light, more heat. So you'll put the lights further away. Um, pretty much to get this thing to work at, the, at its best, uh, what I find is if you have two of these plot, uh, grow, little grow uh, planters, and then you have um, two light sources. Now you're at a stage three. So now we'll be making stage three cannabis. Put that down here, and we go up here, we build another planter. Here we can have four planters at the uh, top tier available of that. And ha at this point, uh, your engineers cannot repair these lights because they can't cross through and repair something. So if I wanted to move things around or uh, put move the room over here to the uh, right one block, I could, but I'm not really worried about it because right now we're just trying to get this guy killed, I'm trying to get him shot. A life of crime does not pay. I was, uh, I don't know if, uh, I play a lot of... Uh, transport fever 2 so selecting like the main thing that everything is going to do I'm like 100% all about that um, when you start off just send this guy over here to the scrapyard because if you come up here and you go to local businesses you'll see the stuff that you'll unlock and if you go to the university you'll see points available and what you can unlock and then this is how many points you get for what product you take to the university the gun shop or the scrapyard so you see that basic weed at level one one star is one point good is two points and three is three points so uh, we're making three points for each box of weed that he is packaging, this scooter only fits one. Oh, the scooter's gone. Oh, he's already out. All right, so we're getting ready to get attacked for the first time. Um, why is that stuck there? Yeah, you can't see. That's like uh, that's what I mean by there's a lot of bugs still in this game. Uh, you can't unselect stuff. See how that cop didn't do anything? If you go over here to unlocks, we're trying to get 90 points to unlock the car. You're going to want the car first thing whenever you first start. Oh, there he is. Alright. Now he's saying he's going to come over and he's going to cluck you up. Uh, in, in the tutorial, you start off running a, a chicken restaurant and he just kind of guide you through uh, the process of doing that it's, it, nothing special uh, but he does send people to attack you as you can see 
there was no way in hell I was going to be able to resist this. They flat out have machine guns, and there's three of them. You know, you can't really fight them because you can't unlock machine guns until you've sent, uh, gotten a hundred points to get this machine gun, and you probably will want the body armor. Dude, like, these guys, they come at you, your guys, the AI is real stupid, dude. Um, like, my guys were trying to shoot at the worst possible target. Um, they could do a lot better with the AI, and I think that they posted recently that they have something uh, coming up in the next uh, update, which will probably be this week or next week. Um, so now he's dead, and they damaged everything I have. So you will want to hire at least one engineer to repair everything. So let him come in, let him repair everything, and uh, at this point, this is whenever I usually will create uh, schedules, because when you start getting into multiple people, you're going to see that, oh, yeah, pretty much these astronauts, they got missions that pop up every so often, and uh, they give you stuff to unlock. The first one, you can accept it. It's not timed. You can see up here they need 20 units of basic weed. One star, 20. Uh, you can send the next step up. So you can send a stage 3, like the best quality. Uh, but you can't send the step down. So if it's got two or three stars, you can't send one star. They want what they pay for. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more. If you, if you just click this and click this uh, little box, you go back to your factory. And here you see the engineer fixing things. Um, hey, dude. Did, did he repair that inside light. I thought he couldn't walk through there. Ah, we'll see. But, um, now he's getting all this stuff fixed up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to employ uh, an actual worker. And we're going to hire him back in here to do his thing. But, uh, what I do is I make sure that I adjust my schedule. Um, you're going to I usually do, you, you could do it however you want, but I usually do like four hours and then a break for two hours. That will give them enough time to uh, sleep and whatnot. Four hours, two hours, and then uh, one, two, three, four, two, two hours here. There you go. So as you see here, you'll have four hours on, two hours off, four hours on, two hours off. That that keeps your employees fairly happy. Keeps their life up. It gives them enough time to go eat, take time to go nap, play video games, do stuff like that to keep them happy. Um, pretty much do that and then uh, now from here on you won't get attacked so click your guy go ahead and put these uh, gardening gloves on him and he will start uh, doing his little job and then uh, loading it up on the scooter and the scooter should be taking everything here to the scrapyard. So, to speed up the process, I'll build another one. 
another garage, another scooter to deliver. Um, when when people are dead, uh, they just stay there, and after you know, after like a day goes by, then they disappear or whatever. They disappear over time. So your employees are going to want a place to eat. They're going to want a place to sleep. They're going to want a place to take a shit. So you pretty much have to build uh, all the stuff for them. Um, the employees at your, your, your factory, they live there. They won't leave, they won't go home, they don't do anything, they just live at your trap house. So, pretty much, you just kind of have to keep them happy and make sure that they can eat and everything like that. Um, mainly just build like a basics of it. Here I'm going to go ahead and just do, uh, let's kind of shrink some of this up. Put some of that down there. That'll work. And then I'm gonna put, actually let's do this. And then I'm gonna add that extra line in there to the grow room. The, um, anytime you collect it, pick it up to select it, you lose the product that was on it. So make sure that you don't go messing around with it if you really need the product at that time. Like if you got something like a mission that's time sensitive, um, you can you can use up all the space you can uh, you really don't get a whole lot of employees for each little spot that you own you only get two for each plot that you buy so that's why I only can do four right now but um as you can see one employee is enough to like really kind of handle the scooters and stuff like that uh, when you get up to the car you're gonna have a lot more going on. You do like eight or six. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So once you build a room, when you when you uh, put out the path, I mean the uh, little spot right here, the little room spot. Once you build part of the house. you can see that it will always, you've already paid for it. So if you were to select it, you get some of your money back. But also if you wanted to uh, build a new room over an old room, you can see, see how it says 25, because, whoop, my bad. You can see that uh, once you've built a room, you've already paid for it. You don't have to pay for it again. It's already built. It's already in the house. Um, here we're going to build our kitchen. And in our kitchen, we're going to need uh, a place for them to pretty much cook their food. So you put like a microwave on there. They can microwave food, and if you put this little cutting board down, they can make little sandwiches. Um, you will need these little tables in order to do that. You can also have one of those spots hold a coffee maker, but I usually just go with this. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, I think it works better. It's faster. Put down this coffee maker, and then they're going to want to wash their dishes. Like after they're done, they'll put them in the sink and clean them. Uh, Here we have your trash can. You need that 
to uh, make sure that everything goes into trash. They will throw stuff away. You don't. I've never seen anybody use the table, so you, at this moment you don't have to use that. Um, you could use a drink machine. They do like to drink pop, but you're going to need room for your door so they can go in and out of there. And then uh, now we have, when he goes on break, when the two of them go on break, uh, they will go through this way to get into the break room. You can see that this guy really isn't keeping up with it. Like, you're going to need at least another employee to keep up with everything. Keep that going. And then, once you have more than one employee, I recommend that you make another schedule. So that way that when one's on break, you have somebody else working. Uh, you do... Start with a break, work four hours, two hours, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then select him to go to work that shift. Oops. Um, now he's going to be on your first schedule, and the other guy is going to be on the well, this guy's on the first schedule, this guy's on the second one. Um, they will go to all rooms, because I haven't assigned anybody to basic. I'll go ahead and assign them both to basic. That just means that that's where they'll work. Uh, I do believe, even though uh, their working areas are these two places, I think they will still go to the break rooms to do their breaks. You don't have to assign like a specific break room, I don't think. Um, those two guys will work fast enough to pretty much supply these two scooters, no problem. We've got product here waiting to be packaged. Um, you will want a cleaning crew. Uh, one cleaner will be good enough to uh, keep up with everything at the very beginning. Um, if you don't have a cleaner, you'll start to see that everything gets contaminated. When things get contaminated, it's worth nothing. It doesn't count towards your delivery. If I deliver it, it it's not going to do anything with it. Um, oh, hey, two. No wonder why that other one was empty. Here, we'll send him over to the scrapyard too because we need the points. Right now we've got four. So now we've employed four out of four employees. Uh, these are guards. I don't, you don't need to deal with guards this early. You can um, start hiring guards later on if you want. Um, mainly the first thing you want to do is unlock that car because delivering on a scooter is only one unit at a time and that blows balls. You need the car because it loads up four at a time. So here you go. Uh, business licenses, you can, uh, at, this is early access. You can't access these three businesses at this time, but you could do a laundromat, donut shop, and a chicken restaurant. Um, you don't necessarily have to do those. They're just kind of a little thing that you can do right now. If you go to Monuments and do the hotline right here, buy that hotline right off the bat, um, you'll start seeing, uh, when you turn the hotline on, you'll start, you could go bad, good, and excellent. So now, as long as you got that checked, You'll start getting phone calls right here where people are saying, hey, uh, 
I have a party going on tonight. I need some stuff. You just select over, and you'll see that uh, they need eight units, and it's 1,168. Just accept it. And then you'll see it right over here. And then you can assign your scooters to go there. Now see how there's no time limit? You can fill this fucking map up with all kinds of uh, no time limits and, and never, never do them. Um, you do get timed ones where you make more money uh, doing those. But I like to just take the no time limits unless I'm... Because you're going to need to hit this guy up right there. You're going to need to send out 20 for those astronauts so they can go to the moon. Um... Right now, we just have our little uh, kitchen. Now we'll need a break room. And in the break room, I'll do the break room about that big. And then the rest of it will be the bathroom. So I'll just do uh, the break room. Put all this stuff down but really what I've noticed they like a lot is these video game machines you don't need to have a whole lot this early in the game because technically as you can see we've got only four employees and the cleaner will be on break at the same time my engineer will be but once you get a lot of people you want to have them staggered so that way they're not using all the equipment at once you'll see that these two people will be in the break room at two different times. So you might have one guy eating and the other guy playing games. So you don't have to have like one thing for every employee you have. You do need a door for them to be able to get to things and I like to be able to have it so that they can cross over to the other areas and then uh, see how he's already ready to go play some video games. That's probably the best way for him to get some fun right now. Uh, we'll go through... Uh, I've never really watched him even watch TV, but they do need a trash can because they might want coffee. And I've never seen him read books. So I don't know if it adds to like... Uh, if it's pretty much a... Like the room's total value to it, like it being in a room, do you get a bonus to the guys playing the video games? Um, right now, just setting them up with the basics. Uh, the bathroom, that's a very important thing. Everybody likes to go to the bathroom. Um, I'll put the door right there and then in the bathroom, you will want somebody to be able to take a shower and a shit. So, put those down. Uh, you will need sink, obviously, and then uh, the hand dryer. So here you have pretty much your bathroom. Uh, we'll be able to function. They can take showers. They can take a shit. They can uh, wash their hands, dry them off. You can see that we're already accumulating stuff because two guys make more than it takes to fill up the scooters. So, um, all that's left after that is like a place to sleep. And what I would do, <coughs> like a building area, let's do corridor just to kind of show what the corridor is <coughs> corridor doesn't really have any functions there's nothing you can really do with it I mean, you can have windows and all this stuff and traps but there's really nothing to actually put in them right now so if we were to put a corridor down put a door in there they would just kind of treat this like a little hallway I don't like the way that looks, but it it works. Um, 
I didn't need to do the corridor. I could have just put in, you know, moved, uh, moved like the trash can or something or put the door right there. But I'm just going to put a sleeping area. And it's got a bookshelf, a table, and as you can see, it just says uh, the decorative side table and a decorative walker. Th there's really no functioning items that you can put in the bedroom. So you might as well just put down like uh, enough room to have the bed. Right there. One bed, pretty much, with this many people would be fine. They don't usually sleep a whole lot of the time. They only got two hours. So taking a nap isn't usual choice. They do drink a lot of coffee instead of going to sleep. So just put your bed in there. Now they can go to sleep if they get tired. So he's going to drink his coffee. Once he's done with his coffee, he's going to throw in a trash can. Now, for the most part, this is all functioning, it works, but when you start unlocking, one of the problems that a lot of people are having is when you unlock some of the stuff, there's no point to it. You don't get a bonus to anything for unlocking anything. Like if you go to your local business and you see that I've got 19 points accumulated, for vehicles, that's the first thing I want to unlock is that car. But if you go over here to the light bulb, this is your appliances, um, like your AOE emitters. You have this light. It still does the exact same thing as these two do. So there's no point in spending the points upgrading any of this stuff. It literally does nothing different. Like, this large dehumidifier has the same area of effect as the very small dehumidifier. See it? Uh, you'll see this is your heater. It's a medium heater and a large heater. The medium heater is the same amount of heat area as the damn heater that you start off with. You know, so this heater is only 200 to buy and $3 per emission unit. So you spend less on your maintenance on that heater than you would if you were to have the big heater unlocked because the big heater unlocked is like way more money to run it. And it does the exact same thing for the time being. If you're new to this and you want to utilize your points for things that you that you will use, uh, I don't like uh, playing a game where you know I have uh, all these points and money that I'm earning, and it's going to stuff that is not practical. Like if there's no function to it in the game. I'm not going to waste my time or money on it. Down here you have like, you'll, you'll get your notifications down here. Like, uh, these buttons don't work. You can turn them off and you'll still get notifications for every single one of these things. Whether or not they're on or off. So, uh, you'll get notifications when somebody's hungry or whatever. Uh, this guy is a cleaning guy. Uh, there's not really anything that you can put on a cleaning guy. They won't attack if you give them weapons, which is kind of dumb. I think that they should still kind of defend, um, but there's really no point to them having anything except for uh, you could do fun reduction or energy and hunger reduction speeds. Um, you can give them that. I mean, that's about the only beneficial thing that they can have right now. And that's your cleaning crew. This guy's your engineer. 
he uh, he's going to go around fixing stuff. You'll want to give him that helmet for sure. But uh, there's really nothing to benefit him either. Um, he won't attack anything because he's just an engineer. Uh, one of the things later on that you can unlock for them would be like if you start getting into meth. Um, well, he, he fixes things fast enough. He'll, he won't be in your meth lab for too long. Uh, the meth lab puts off uh, poisonous gas. But he's never there long enough to where he gets so hurt he's going to die. I've never had that problem. Um, well, that's pretty much the basic start of it. I mean, this is all that they need pretty much from the beginning. You just pretty much speed it up and let them, let them keep delivering down here until we unlock that. See, I just got these two guys doing that. You start off with enough money where you can sit there on high speed and just kind of like let them rack up the points until we can unlock the car. Once you unlock the car, they will carry four units at a time and all these jobs only require eight, so it's two, car two car loads will finish that job. So. Once I unlock cars and these two become cars, I can send them out in one trip and make a thousand one hundred sixty-eight dollars. Um, that's the f right now the jobs like that. These things, these little missions, these are the fastest ways to like make money. The the when you have a business and they sell the drugs at the business, it's slowly. It, it, it doesn't sell as fast. It just kind of slowly, gradually sells things. So we're just going to accumulate all these missions right here. Now you see here is the time limit one. Now if I wanted to do that, I could go in here and uh, I could stop them going there to unlock the car. But at this point, I want that car unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that. I'm not going to go picking it up. I want to get those that car unlocked as fast as I can. I could have probably put another scooter out. Actually, uh, yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah. We are producing enough. And you can see that's contaminated. When it gets contaminated, its current value is 36, but non-contaminated, it's 146. So you can see it's got more value. Um, anything that they they throw on the floor because they're stupid asses uh, then like if they're carrying something and they're like oh shit it's break time they just throw your weed on the floor that's the stupidest thing ever um, they'll go and they will uh, go on break and just leave the stuff on the ground sometimes um, There's really not a whole lot of like landscaping that you really uh, want to do. I mean, you can do the cut grass. You can change the way things look. Um, not really a not really a point to it. You can have trees, put trees down if you want to decorate stuff. Um, nothing really beneficial to any of this stuff. Uh, pretty flowers. I haven't really like seen anything in this list of stuff that really is beneficial. Like you don't gain anything from it. Um, you have a neon chicken sign, or Jonah sign. Uh, I don't know of anything that like that. I don't know if that attracts customers. I've not seen anything that would make me think that. Um, here we have. Uh, the walls like you got a stone wall that you can build this fence off here more if you wanted to the yellow wall you can build them just kind of to put up walls between stuff not really getting any kind of benefit from that it kind of takes up space uh, mm. but I mean some people like to decorate things 
Uh, we're up to 52 out of 90. Still working on that. Um, oh yeah, 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 sorry. I was going to build another one of these. the scrapyard. So now we should be uh, accumulating the points a little bit quicker. We're almost there already. Um, the scrapyard, you can unlock this stuff just because at this point in the game you can get the points fast and why not unlock them? They look cooler I guess. Uh, but really, you want this. This is uh, a table that's a double boxing station, so two employees can be boxing products at the same time. That is useful. It is the uh, the other one you, you, you don't get until early access later this year, probably. Um, you can have doors that lock. They bolt to keep people out. I don't see any point in some of this stuff, because whenever those guys come, dude... Uh, the, the, when they come the second time, it's like four of them, and they're decked out. Like, it's a SWAT team that comes, and uh, you might as well just let them kill your guys and then just hire new guys. You'll have enough money by then that you're not really phased by it. Um, you can unlock a uh, bulletproof vest for your guards, and uh, machine guns, shotguns. The machine gun is... Uh, has more range than the shotgun, but the shotgun does a lot more damage. Melee weapons, you can't even unlock them this early in the game. They're pointless, dude. You, you, when they get when they show up to kill you, you ain't going to be able to hit them with a knife and do shit. Um, under university, that's the important one because the university uh, tier uh, tree. Oh, hang on, uh, this is where you unlock the improved cannabis cutting table. You can unlock the toasted cannabis bed and the auto cannabis cutting bench. Oh, yeah, that's that's the drying out. This is the cutting bench. But you can see why spend 20 on that when you can spend 30 and have the best cutting table that, that they offer us right now. Might as well just save up and buy that whenever you start unlocking this stuff. This is uh, the drying rack. So instead of this little table right here, you can buy this little drying rack. Again, 40 points. Boom, this one's only 50. And this is automatic. Like, the best stuff is only 10 points away from that. So here is your Amazonian cannabis bed. These two, you'll make a lot more money unlocking these. Um, if you want to, you could get rid of the basic grow room and build just straight, uh, you know, toasted. Um, here's your meth, meth lab. We don't have anything for the meth labs in early access right now, except for the basic meth starter pack, which unlocks cloudy meth. Um, here you have, this is going to be the cocaine and they don't have any cocaine in here right now. Um, here's your clothes. Now the clothes, you'll want to unlock this, uh, the gardener outfit. Those are very beneficial. Um, this respirator gives you uh, meth appliance speed and toxic gas protection. Um, and a hazmat suit. Uh, the hazmat suit is pointless right now because when you do the jobs for the astronauts you'll get an astronaut suit which is better than that um, 79 look at that oh we're almost there 82 I mean, pretty much from here on, you probably could uh, start building out. But what I just want to get 
Is that car unlocked and start doing missions with the cars? Making making more money. See how I'm just accumulating all these little jobs. Um, once you upgrade your little tower right here, this hotline antenna, once you upgrade that one to like 50 strength, it's only 5,000, you get almost more missions than you can, you can possibly handle. There is some balancing issues with this game. Everything is kind of uh, unlevel. I, uh, I'm kind of a stickler for this too. If I'm on the local business screen, let me just go slow that down. Um, and then I close it. The icon stays lit up like it's still open. I hate that. So you, I always, I'm kind of a, a weirdo for little things like that. Like I like things to, if things function the way you think they should logically function, then you can start getting into always keeping a pad of paper around and write notes on like, okay, I, I did you know. Uh, this schedule for my employees and I noticed that they're starting to be unhappy so I need to give them a little bit more break time or make sure that they have a device to use that's open during their break times that they can raise you know uh, making notes of like the way the game functions the, uh, the, the, the physics behind the games I make notes I got notepads uh, all over my bookshelf of every game I play, I make notes on everything. Like, when uh, Minecraft, I had like a whole notebook on like, you know, the distances to build stuff and uh, to make like farms, uh, monster farms, you know, like, uh, just making notes of all that stuff. You can't really make notes of stuff if the game's not working right. Because you really can't one of the things I, I think that they need to change is for each plot, you only get two employees. I think it should be like 2.5, two and a half employees. So for every two plots, you should get uh, five instead of four. That would probably balance that out because at this point, there's no point in even fucking having guards because when you start making all the different kinds of weed, you're gonna need like three or four employees for each type of weed that you're making um, to keep up with everything. And the fact that you have to have, you only get two per plot that's why your best bet is after you've started this area, you can see how tight I have everything. Uh, once you uh, get past that first attack and you start buying plots, start spreading your stuff out because you're going to want to take up as much space as you can because you need more employees. So the more space you use, the more employees you have. Did I buy the car yet? Nope. So unlock the car. Once you unlock the car, you can oops, come in here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to your build. Hit this, sell it, sell it. Go to your garage. That's another thing it does. Like it's kind of weird how. Um, I'm in the garage menu, and if I pick up something, I don't know if it, I think it was like, it won't let you sell it because the scooter's not there, but, um, oh, there's some, there's, there's some issues with, like, whenever you click on things, um, I'm sure they'll work out later, but, uh, now that we have the cars, we can start sending out the cars to go do, 
all these jobs. And right now, the, the best explanation I can give on how the game handles this is if you select the car that you want to do something, tell it that you only want it to load. If you have any of these selected, they'll load that other stuff. They'll, it'll load all, all three weed, all three pots uh, on one car, which you don't want because all these plots only require one. So with basic selected and you select the phone, you can see that you can tell him to go deliver weed to everywhere where there's a phone. Now, the way that the game handles this and says, where do I take weed to first? It will take the lowest number on the whole list. So if there's, uh, if this one has a one and this one has a zero, it'll send the next load out to the one that has zero. Should see it come out now. If you just highlight over, you can see that there's two cars and a scooter, but there's nobody in the bay with the scooter. Once he loads up, you can select this and it will go directly to the car. Here we have three. Ah, look at that. He's got that nasty weed in there. Nobody wants that contaminated weed. We used to call that dirt weed. Downtown Brown. Oh, uh, that's the car that I haven't told to go anywhere. So it's this one right here. If we tell him to go to that same one right there. Send him out. You'll see that he's got this path he's going to go to. He will uh, he will stop at red lights. Is that scooter still going? I gotta get rid of that scooter. Um, where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah. He'll go. He'll run. He'll go through the red green lights. Um, they will get to where they're going and whoever ordered the weed that's inside the building this is this is really nice I do like that this does this they will come out and say hey buddy I'm glad you brought this weed we needed to get high that's a lot of weed to be put in a box like that these four guys don't need that much weed it's just three star weed dude and they go inside and they put their weed wherever once that last one disappears you can look at your map and you'll see that uh, there's a four four of eight so now with four of eight done if you put that one and that one well, I didn't have that one selected, so he's already on his way to do whatever. When that car is done loading, he should go to the one that's zero. Speed it up. Um, yeah. He should come out anytime now. He's only got two. See, the, the cars are four times as good as the scooters. Get rid of that damn scooter. Once the car has four... Now the other thing that it's doing that's kind of stupid is they'll load the closest one 
I believe. And it's like, uh, no, finish loading this car before you load that car. You should be able to say load the uh, closest to being full instead of the closest to your truck, I mean to your uh, table. They should give you that option. Um, we'll have to wait. Drying out now. You'll see once it dries out, they'll have to cut it up, snip off the buds with, the, well, they look like they're using like a machete on there, but chopping it, chopping it, packaging it, putting it in a box. He says he's hungry. Go to break, dude. Yeah. I like them video games. There we go. Now, you'll see it's going to the lowest number instead of the one closest. So when he loads the cars, he should load the most full cars if his delivery he is making a delivery to the least full delivery but uh, I like the way that they do have it going to the least um, number because if you have multiple types of weed uh, you don't want them to be delivering this basic stuff there if it's already done which it will do if you have no more basic slots and you're still trying to fill up the, the the other types which is my thing is is your vehicles should not be delivering the wrong weed than what it's requiring like if they order that weed don't put the toasted shit on that car I want to be able to say Oh, this car can select both and have him take both to wherever. But if you have both selected, the game like doesn't know how much the delivery is needed at that time. So here you'll see that basic, you need eight. Now, if toasted, you need eight. But what if you've got... Uh, toasted completely full like you've you've loaded up eight toasted weeds to this delivery and you still need four basics it'll still bring the toasted weed if you have it selected so they're forcing you to pretty much keep it so that one car does one specific thing don't have your your uh, stuff divided Let's see. All right. Um, you still have enough money to kind of like hang tin, you know, like lay back for a couple things. We're not losing enough money. Once you start producing the, the next level ups a week, you're going to be spending more money in. Uh, you're going to be spending more money. in uh, pretty much your uh, your lighting you're gonna have lights you're gonna have uh, heaters all that stuff that's gonna be a part of your expenses this is your hotline sales uh, we haven't finished anything really yet here we have six delivered at 1,168 so we have finished uh, that first delivery and we both we got two cars doing these deliveries if I go through and I select every single one of these together then it will take forever for you to start making money so only only select like three to start off 
otherwise you're going to be waiting forever and in fact you could probably do if he's doing those three I'll do this guy on these three because if you sometimes I'll have like every single one of them selected for that specific card because I already got tons of money and I don't need to worry about it what the hell is this guy doing he's looking for work they'll sit there and wait around and do nothing if they don't have to do anything they're not on break so they're not going to do anything I kind of wish they would do a passive thing so like if he's not working don't stand around waiting for work go play video games while you're waiting to go back to work bring your fun level up don't make it wasting my time like it's supposed to be artificial intelligence. There's intelligence in that. So they should use intelligence, I would think. I mean, I would personally fire people if they were standing around when they were supposed to be working. I worked at places where they were like, uh, we know you're on the clock. Just go play cards in the break room, but be ready to come out. See, he bought the uh, candy bar from the vending machine, even though it looks like a Pepsi machine. Looks like the old Pepsi machine from the 80s. Um, but yeah, they'll eat candy bars, and that will bring up... Uh, his hunger, slightly. Yep, so you see how two people growing weed doesn't keep up with how fast these cars get loaded because we got a car waiting. So we need more employees to be able to keep up with the ability of our cars putting out all that product. So go to sale and buy another plot. At this point, I'm going to just go here. Uh, this will give us two more employees and they do get more expensive the more of these plots you'll buy um, I've heard some people say when you buy your first plot you stop getting uh, your your hotline missions I haven't had that problem mainly because I mean I've got 40 over 40 hours in this game so far and that's just in one week so I think other people are impatient whenever it comes to some of this stuff. Like, if you just wait, um, it, it'll work itself out. There's no need to be upset if all you got to do is just keep that time flying, making deliveries if you can. If you can't, if, if you have no deliveries, start sending your cars to the university and the gun shop and all that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Uh, build another car slot here and I'm gonna have that car take the weed to the university and just have him straight points on that dude uh, unlock straight points on that university because the university is where we're gonna get more and more money and when you unlock the automated stuff, your employees are a lot more efficient, so go for that. Go for that. But we need to get just enough employees to actually, uh, oops, um, just enough employees to actually do everything. Um, I'll go with another zero. Actually, you don't need, um, since both of these shifts have a packager, or I mean somebody to load cars, uh, I don't need to load cars on him, and that'll work perfectly fine. Um, you don't need two cleaners with this small of a space. One cleaner will do fine. I mean, you can see he's just sitting there doing nothing. Um... Toasted Cannabis is the next thing we'll unlock, and that will unlock a crowbar, which is fucking useless. But 
just because I'm a um, I'm a completionist. Like I like to be able to do everything that the game has to offer me. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we could probably go ahead and do the other uh, employee. Hire the other employee. Put him on the first ship. So now we have four. Doing all the basic weed. Not really. Uh, now, now we run into the issue with uh, employees are going to be just kind of like bored. So, don't forget to equip your employees with their gloves. I forgot about him. And he's got it. All right. So now we're going to start producing a lot more. You don't really even have to build anything there. We just wanted those people because, like I said, they need to increase the amount of employees you get per plot by about a half a person. I think that a half a person would uh, balance it out a whole lot better because at this point in the game, you're literally just making all these empty plots. You don't really need them because you can make a break room that's as big as this entire plot and like that's a big enough break room that you wouldn't need another break room for like the entire like this whole area. You can literally squeeze everything in there. Like you can see how small I have this grow room. I could very easily have six of these uh, planters in here. And then whenever we do a second grow room and start doing the toasted weed, we can um, when you start doing the toasted weed, uh, you'll start having to have more stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the toasted weed as soon as I can. Right now, I'm waiting for guys to get delivered up there. Uh, I'll unlock that toaster real quick and show you that. Speed it up all the way. You can have everybody load the car up if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. There, we got that car going out. What's that car doing? Where's he going? It's this car. Oh. He's going to the university. You can see for one car load, it should be 12 points for every car load. So within two car loads, you're able to unlock that. That's how easy it is to unlock all this stuff this early in the game. That's dirty. Why'd you get that contaminated, man? I hate that. It doesn't count towards uh, a lot of the crap that you go do. Like if you try to sell stuff at your business that you have unlocked, like your laundromat, um, the weed doesn't sell for as much if it's contaminated. So that's 146. And the businesses themselves don't even produce a whole lot of money just to have them. Like, the laundromat makes no money whatsoever. You might as well just use it to sell the weed. see now we have four here, four here, four here. It's went to each spot because every time it's made a delivery, the next spot had zero. 
So now that we have four there, the next car load will go eight, eight, and eight, and it only requires eight. So that'll make us a bunch of money the next three on that route. And then uh, as you can see, uh, four, zero, and uh, you can't really see a whole lot there. I think it's a zero of eight. When you first play this, you're probably going to uh, be surprised at some of the bugs you find because, I mean, since I've been playing it for 40 hours, there's a good chance that I'm avoiding some of the bugs, so maybe it's kind of hard to explain them to you. Um, let's see, what would I say? Um... Yeah, the only thing I can think of for me, some people are saying that the uh, monuments, like some people are having problems with them, that they're not doing what they're supposed to do or whatever. I, like I said, like I don't, I don't like spending money on something that I'm, I'm I find useless. So here, the uh, the hotline gives me jobs, so I can make money. I'm definitely gonna focus on that. If you go to the gym, uh, your guards take less damage. Eh, that might be nice, but to tell you the truth, I don't really need guards. I have only been attacked one time. It's better to just, it, it's almost like $8,000 on that. I could spend $8,000 with like 15 employees and just hire new employees. It's not like they gain levels as they do things. Um, Planning permits decreases the construction costs from buildings and doors and windows. Um, it might be beneficial, but I don't know. I guess I make money fast enough. I don't really worry about paying $10,000 to get a discount that's probably going to give me about $2,000 is how much it's going to save me after I've built three businesses. But by that time, I've already made enough money. Uh, the pawn shop, uh, everyday items decrease the price of your equipment. That's probably beneficial so you don't have to spend a whole lot of money later on whenever you equip your uh, employees with the meth lab. you got to spend like $2,800 for the damn astronaut's outfit. But if you're spending $2,000 on an astronaut outfit, you're literally making a whole lot of money off of all your drugs. So I don't usually deal with that. Uh, the legislation office, yeah, they stay open for longer, so they might make more business. You can sell more weed. That's definitely a benefit. Uh, 15000 that is worth it because uh, even the basic weed sells for like 300 and something dollars for one unit as opposed to the 100 and something when you're doing these missions, but you only sell, you know, eight of them, a, maybe five of them a day, something like that, you know. Uh, the billboards, that's a definitely a benefit because once you have your business license, um, I don't think I can show it until after it's done. Uh, once you have your business licenses and you have your laundromat open, you'll get a star rating. And the higher your star rating is, the more employee, I mean, uh, customers you'll be bringing in. Um, see how he's happy so you sh as long as you have a schedule of giving them like two hours to fuck around they should stay pretty happy so now that I've unlocked some stuff from the university uh, what was I saying I was going to do I was going to show the uh, the toasted weed I think that's what I was going to show so we'll show the toasted weed um not going to bother with this table because we'll just go and get this table and pretty much save us 20 points when you just get that. Um, this is another thing. You'll want this outfit unlock right here 
for sure because all of your employees that are working growing the weed you literally get a 30% appliance using speed uh, appliances I'm assuming that's like this guy's cutting stuff up and this one's a 20 so you're looking at 50 50% 50 bonus to that and then this is cooldown time on cannabis plants he looks rather nifty so once these guys are uh, geared up they'll be producing enough weed real fast you'll be making enough money Sorry about that. All right. Now you can see we've um, delivered enough weed. He's got all three of his areas because we're not producing enough weed. We weren't producing enough weed fast enough to get him out the door because remember they will fill the car closest to them. Stupid. I hate that. But that's what we have to work with right now. That's why uh, 
if you were to just kind of have them all selected, then they'll just work together. Since this guy is, uh, I think that's the, yeah. The guy in the center is the one that's going to the university. Nope. The first one's the guy in the center. guy in the university is the one that's closest to him. Sheesh. Sheesh. You definitely gotta have that speed up. Set a crawl right now. Let's see. Yeah, there's a... Uh, that's the only thing left to get from the... Um, scrapyard is this double boxing station. This stuff really isn't useful. I don't even mess with the gun shop usually. I might do that later. Like, like later on I'll unlock that. But see that the uh, the drying station is full and there's weed here waiting to be put on the drying station so technically uh, once we unlock the uh, the bigger drying station then um, we'll utilize it a little bit better university here we have a uh, Drying stations, 50. The cutting table is 30. time that he's spending there doing that. We need him free doing other things, so. Drying table kind of like doesn't require people, but it takes a long time to dry stuff out. That's the good part about upgrading the drying table, is it just makes it faster. But this cutting table, that's actually an automated thing. So that's why that's be my first choice. And there's really there's there's no point to really buy a whole lot of the clothes, but uh, as you can see, they're still all early access. A fire suit hat it gives us fire resistance. I, mean, I don't even know if like the guys put out a fire. Because last, the only time I've had a fire happen, dude, my people, oh, hey, look, we unlocked it, the toasted cannabis, so we'll do that, forgot about that. Um, when a fire breaks out, everybody, like, you know, sims, sims it, and just kind of panics, and then sets themselves on fire. Like, they don't try to put out the fire, they don't call the fire department. I don't know what their plan is with that. But here I can now sell this item 
put down this uh, automated chopping table. See how much faster it is? pretty much the state of the game now I mean from this point on really it's just buying businesses and uh, well supplying them with drugs uh, oh yeah the laundromat will only take weed the donut shop only takes weed but the chicken restaurant takes the meth and the lobster place that'll take the meth his other ones takes the cocaine and the casino takes the cocaine. So we got the casino, a nightclub, those two take the cocaine and this one takes the meth. The lobster restaurant, chicken restaurant takes the meth. You're just pretty much doing these drugs. Did I, uh, oh yeah, I did uh, unlock that. I said I'd go ahead and show that. Um, go ahead and build the toasted grow room. Show you how this works. Um, what I'm going to do with this, I'll just go ahead and build like, uh, you don't have to do it like this. Um, but since I have a lot of room that I need to use up, we'll go ahead and use like the corridor for, uh, to do this stuff. Go ahead and put it like, put like a door right there. Put a door right there, I guess. Uh, that might that might actually cause a problem. I don't know. You can give it more room. We got plenty of room. We could spread it out right here. I just want to show uh, utilizing the cannabis stuff. It. Uh, You will see that um, when you put these down, say, uh, yeah, starting off like that, and then you'll see that you only need two for your lighting and four for the heat, the little temperature, I mean, the little uh, thermostat, thermometer on the bottom one, that's your heat icon. You can see on your overlays, your temperature. So, uh, all right, um, I'm gonna put it on speed. Um, you can put down the light the light source right here in the center of these two and you see how that went up to two because uh, if you go to your overlay and see you can see that from the center of your light source is a four and three on the outside of that and then twos and then ones so a two will get you two light bulbs, two lighting sources. The three would be too much. If I was to put this right here, it would go back down because it's got three lights instead of one, I mean, instead of two. So you can have the toasted cannabis in a pattern of like, you know, four skipping a slot in between but you want to get the heat radius around there to be maxed out to do that all you got to do is just uh, put these heaters in there now the heat source you can see this one has four in the center but since uh, from four you would have three, two, 
one. Yeah. And um, having these two close together, your three right here gets a benefit of a plus one from the other heater. So it becomes a four over the top of that. So this is all you need to do the toasted wheat. And then give the, this grow room its own um, chopper. Uh, I guess if you put down the chopper, You're going to want uh, four on the heat. You don't need any light because it's already grown. So if you put down a heat source right next to it, it becomes a three. And then over here, it'll become a four. Um, let me see. Maybe the best way to explain this is if I put this down over here, you can still have that heat source all the way up. So... Right there is a three, because it, the, 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 the point on this uh, table that actually it reads, it's um, the light source or the heat source or the humidity and everything like that, it's, it's, it takes up two blocks, but only one of the blocks is where you're going to get your, your source, I mean your, your, your number from. And if you see that these heat sources finally overlap right here, you would think that, oh, it's got a four, it should be four uh, three stars. But it's not, because it's this first slot right here. That's the one that it actually reads the block underneath it. It, it should be both of these slots should be a four, but it doesn't. This one could be three, but as long as this one's a four, you pretty much uh, are gonna be fine. So, with that being known, you know that you can't put it here. It can only be right here. So you can put those together like that. If you wanted to do um, two of these, because you have more uh, planners, you can see that it's not gonna give you the proper stars that you need. And if you wanna do that, you would just put here and a heater here and that'll get you your four and if you wanted to use it for the Amazonian all you need is humidity which with humidity you'll just put one on the ends and that'll give you enough humidity to do the final one obviously the way games work you know how it goes I mean you're gonna spend more to make more so, um, if you're to have two, you're going to have to have two heaters no matter what you do. So, you might as you could probably do like a, put this guy here, and then your heater is going to be kind of getting into this hole. You could do that. And that would work and only need one heater because you really only need one of these chopping stations so select just toasted only just 
door up here so that they can get in there and uh, you can separate the rooms like that so that way if you go to your employees and select room types go to new put in like toasted and say um, the toasted room and the packaging room and confirm we're good to go we could take two two people per different types at this point we, we could always buy another plot and hire two more people and then have three for each one of these rooms so once you start producing that weed if you go in here you see that you can have uh, your uh, toasted weed you can sell it on your hotline so you have to check this and if you do that it's only going to be the bad ones you do have to select to go the excellent or else you'll only get orders for the lesser man that's um let me see how long have i been playing here About two hours. I think that that pretty much covers a lot of this stuff. I mean, I would have to sit here and play it for a long time to show you uh, when you get raided because you don't really get raided a whole lot. Oh, yeah. 57 points now on the um, university. Uh, let's see to get that meth you need 160 so I'm gonna keep on delivering stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and buy this because there you go it's all you need you now have automated uh, chopping station you have the fastest dryer now all you got to work for is the meth um, these boots right here they just make it so that the floors don't become dirty where when you're walking because I think that it's only where you're standing it'll make the floors dirty so you could put them on your your people that grow but the game only allows you you know three slots so if you wanted to put a pair of boots on you're gonna have to get rid of either the gloves the overalls or the hat I just say fuck it I have a cleaner to go around and clean up. I'll be fine. Um, oh yeah. Uh, over here in the boxing station, you can definitely uh, not do that. Tell it that now I'm doing toasted. I want you to be able to put the toasted on these racks. Or you could just go through and make you know, racks for just the toasted. But, either way, uh, I, I like to be a little bit more, like, uh, strict on what I allow everybody to do. That way, I, I know what's going on. Hmm. Makes it a little bit more possible for you to make a little bit of a... You might get confused later on if you're like, Oh, uh, I thought that I had selected that to just carry this. When you start the business, you'll have to go to the business licenses and buy the business license. And then once you own the business license, then you have to go to purchase land. And uh, you'll see preferred businesses... Uh, this this plot right here does the chicken businesses and the donut shops. This one will do a laundromat and donut shop. And this one will be a laundromat donut shop. 
chicken, lobster, donut shop, chicken, laundromat, donut shop, chicken, lobster, but um, you still have to buy that plot. Now, uh, if you look at the plots, uh, what I would recommend, um, you see this is a smaller area, and this is a little bit bigger. Well, I'll show you. It's way more where is it? Yeah, here, here we go. Okay, this one is bigger than that one, but they're the exact same price. Um, if you're going to buy the bigger one, use it to make donut shop because the donut shop takes up a lot more space to make the donuts whereas the laundromat you know the damn laundromat's just like just basic uh once you buy the plot you have to tell it i'm gonna make the laundromat here and select it right now the business is closed this is where we're going to go through and we're going to build our layout. Um, what I do is like let's say you look around you're gonna be parking your car right here I think and unloading the weed into the business so if you make your door right here then your employees can come right here put your storeroom right here uh, Look at that. There. Boom. There we go. We've already uh, done all the little things in this uh, university crime program. Um, let's see. I need money. You know it, dog. Alright. See, it... it it's, it's taken longer because I got so many of them selected at once. I could have just, you know, three selected and then get it over with. But it's fine. If you just speed it up, they'll get through everything. Uh, he's still going to the university. How many points we got in the university now? See? Cops always got his sirens on, but he never stops anywhere. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the only thing really left to buy, we can unlock the Amazon bed. As you can see, you can get that so quick. I mean, it's it's so easy to get this stuff. I think that maybe um, readjusting this or redoing how you can unlock this stuff, I think maybe that needs to be a little bit analyzed and kind of figured out a little bit better because it's I mean you can have everything unlocked before you even open your first business there's really no no, uh, no point beyond unlocking the meth at this point in time you do get the cocaine and you want to do that but uh, you know just having things like this that's kind of pointless like uh, they need to make it so that you can't unlock the next thing up until you bought this one. Otherwise, it's pointless to have that if you have that. I might as well just make one delivery with a car and then I automatically have it. It's that easy. So, there is some balancing that needs to be done a little bit. Uh, your, your laundromat is kind of garbage right now, but uh, you'll pretty much build it like you do your other base. You'll have your laundromat. It'll have your washing machines, your cash register, um, your counter, and then you'll have your storeroom, and that just holds your little rack to keep your weed on. Um, People will come in and they will buy laundry detergent, which is this. They'll buy the laundry detergent and they'll buy weed. And then they'll pay to wash and dry their clothes. But you're only talking about like, I think it's like $3 
you make whenever they use it, so you don't make a whole lot. But the weed will make like three, four, five hundred. So you do need a customer toilet to unlock the star for it. I'll go ahead and explain that. Your employees need a staffing toilet. So you'll want to have like a, a toilet, a, a restroom for the employees and a restroom for the uh, sta uh, customers. Um, you also, your staff need, a, staff need a break room. I don't know why they call it breakout, but all right. Who the hell is a breakout? Um, so you do need to have that for them, but I mean, technically, you only have so many employees that you'll need for like a spot this small, and they literally give you 15, like, I don't know if there was like a problem where they meant to give you 15 on your main base. I mean, you really, you only need, uh, you could do everything with like two or three cleaners and two engineers. So that's five. 10 workers is overkill. Like you don't need 10 employees. You just need two of them for, and then you do have to, you know, set up their schedule to do their schedule um, their schedule is a little bit different when you're scheduling the working hours for your employees for the businesses the legit businesses uh, they will go home so what I like to do is I like to think well okay um, let's do let's do first shift just two and three you know like first shift second shift first second third um, first shift, usually you go into work at 6 o'clock in the morning, work for four hours, take a break, work for four more hours, take a break, and then you can have them go home. Just this icon right here, this little sleep and he's laying down on his side. That's what it's supposed to be. He's sleeping. So that's saying he's gone home. The TV is saying he's just on break. Um, if you do your shit like that, if you only make him work eight hours, you'll find uh, Oh, I'll go back and I'll explain that here in a second. I was in the middle of this whenever that happened. Um, You'll see that uh, if, if like you have, have him come in and start working whenever this guy gets off work, you can do that if you want. Um, here we'll have... Uh, That's pretty much second shift. He's gonna be getting off work at, what is that, 11 o'clock? Um, so he gets off work from 11. Uh, you do have this gap where this guy was on break and nobody was working. But we're given that we're only having like a first shift and a second shift right now. Um, if we were to do like What is that for? And then go home here. That'd be a, like a third shift. Gets off work at uh, eight o'clock in the morning, right? So you're having like that. That's pretty much a third shift. What I do is I will have a first shift, work four hours, take a break, work four hours, take a break, and then I'll give them like two hours of overtime, we'll say, two or three. I mean, you can do that. They won't bitch and complain if they work a little overtime. You don't have to pay them overtime, actually, either. You still only pay $5 for every hour they're working. If you're not selling anything during that time, you're not making any money. So 
the reason why you would want employees during the time uh, you want employees there if you're going to be delivering with your car during that hour so let's say I don't think you can schedule you could probably like man, like fuck around with stuff and like get complicated and have <coughs> a schedule when the truck will arrive with the goods at a certain time of night if you have a person that's dedicated to loading a vehicle and have them only working during the hours that the business is shut down uh, up here you'll see that from the business will operate from six o'clock in the morning until 1900 hours uh, that's pretty much seven o'clock at night so uh, what I like to do is I like to say okay when he goes on break second shift will start working or you can even do it like right before that um, and then give him break and then come back Whoops. So you'll see if you do that and then have him go home, you'll see that over here this guy will work four hours, go on break, but there's a guy going to be working the registers while he's on break. You want to keep people at those registers while they're on break. And there's another reason why you want to, I'll tell you in a second. Um, always having somebody running those registers because that's how you you need to have you're not going to make money if that register is not doing anything um, so you see how you stagger the shift a little bit so that way you can be like okay this guy is on break this guy is going to cover him while he goes on break when he comes back from break he says I'm going home now and then this guy will work another three hours. Well, that's when we need uh, this shift will start working. say I was going to do that. Four. Off an hour. Break. Work. Three. Four. Eh, my eyes can't really see it very well. I'm getting old. So you have four. Break. Four. Break. Work. So now we have first shift, second shift, and third shift are literally overlapping each other the only time we won't have somebody is during this two o'clock two o'clock in the morning we won't have any customers you'll just be delivering a car a car full of weed might deliver at that time that's perfectly fine because if we come over here and you want cleaners you want to have cleaners to mainly clean you can have cleaners uh, at any, any, you have to uh, look over here, you have a cleaner during all business hours. So from six to seven, you'll want to have cleaners. And uh, that's really the only thing you got to pay attention to whenever it comes to scheduling with the cleaners. So you only need, where's our schedule at again? Uh, cleaners, you only need first shift and second shift because the cleaner will go home. So if I have two cleaners, and put uh, first shift and second shift, we're gonna unlock a star we have 
see that's how you get one star just for that we can have a total of three customers just from that um, you definitely want to have two engineers because everything in your businesses did I don't understand it needs to be based on customer use but if you were to have no engineers and while you're sitting here and you're building if I was sitting here put down that put in a dr uh, uh, one of the dryers and like let's say there's nobody using that dryer within two hours the dryer starts breaking down so you got to have an engineer but I really don't like the idea that you know I guess it's kind of like I guess it's my own personal thing I don't think that the dryer should be getting damaged when nobody's using it at all it could be just sitting there all by itself if you don't have an engineer to work on it it'll start getting a red line on it best way I just zoom out we'll go back to this uh, what I was trying to say earlier with um, I was going to come back here and show this um, just turn the hotline off so that I can do this without getting distracted um, this one needs basic weed and toasted weed, and it's worth 2520 So, if you have this car right here, and you select toasted and basic and tell it to go there, it might possibly have toasted in the trunk of it and then not need any more toasted. And you don't make any money off that. It just kind of like disappears. I don't like that. There needs to be some kind of intelligence with the people here, you know. Just because they're drug dealers don't mean they're dumb. Actually, drug dealers and criminals, if you've ever been to jail, dude, they fucking find a way to do everything. They start fires with like aluminum foil and a microwave or take a light apart in a ceiling and it is just crazy people people uh, use everything around them no matter no matter what even if they're dumb they will find a way to come up with a, a way to do something it's humans for you we're geniuses so pretty much that's uh, I just kind of gave the explanation of that I'm, I'm not really showing the other part to it. The donut shop, when you build the donut shop, a lot of the times they drop donuts when there's no reason. Like you're looking at everything that you built and you're like, I don't understand why he's just dropping shit on the floor. I've also had, um, when you make an employee's break room, if they, uh, if they can't get to a trash can or a sink, they will put their plate of food on your rack. Like, there's a pretty good chance that uh, in this kitchen, I think if I didn't have this uh, place for them to do their dishes, they will sit their crap on these shelves. That's annoying. I mean... They should just lay it on the floor and let your cleaner come up and pick it up. So he's microwaving a hamburger and then he's chopping a hamburger and then he's eating a hamburger. I don't know why in the hell he's chopping a damn hamburger. He's saying, hey man, I gotta go take a piss. That was a good hamburger. Uh, but yeah, uh, pay attention to... If you do start noticing that your employees are putting food on the racks, just go up here go to build, pick your rack up, put it back down, it'll take everything off that rack. It'll let you clean that rack off. Just leave it. Um, they need to sleep, eat, have fun, keep energy up, go to the bathroom, and roughly uh, in an area that has four planters, one of these little rooms, you would be at probably a 
hundred percent utilization with like three employees probably I usually run about eight planners for each one of these and then mainly uh, what I do is you know you see how I told you in the beginning that I buy the plot that has the road that goes through here so that way they can come in and out and kind of like the flow of traffic is a lot better and then I'll put my meth lab over here and I'll be doing my meth over here and grow my weed over here there almost isn't even a reason to have any of this other stuff because you can pretty much make everything you need just in these little areas because I mean we don't have the cocaine right now you know so when they add more to the game and fix some of the problems that they have this game is going to be pretty fun it's a lot like uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, you remember like Vice City you could buy a business and then come and pick up the money every now and then and then when you got to the Grand Theft Auto 5 you could have the meth lab the pot the counterfeit money you could run businesses in 5 this one is uh, a lot like Grand Theft Auto 5 where you're going to run the business you will get raided by the cops you have to defend from it you have to you know make your deliveries it's pretty much a top-down Grand Theft Auto 5 man I just had a flashback to like the very first Grand Theft Autos before Grand Theft Auto 3 Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 was on PlayStation 1, and it was a top-down game exactly like this. And uh, I remember that, running around like a little bitty figure. Um, almost had the graphics like this, too. Mm. Well, that's pretty much it. That's about all I have to say. Um, the game's great. I... I look forward to seeing the things that they put into it and a lot of the fixes they make yeah alrighty well that's all for me uh, hope everybody gets this game and experiences it it's, it's worth it it's worth the money it's not really expensive I think when this thing came out it was on sale it was like 20 bucks. Alright. Take care.